I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a review question to find linear approximation for the given function at a given point. So we are taking trigonometric ratio cosine x in this example. So the question is find linear approximation lx to the function at given value which is at a right f of x equals to cos x a value is pi by 3. So in linear approximation, we are actually finding the equation of a tangent line. So that's the very basic concept. Point given to us A is pi by 3. So what we can do is we have the function f of x equals to cos x. Let's find the value of this function at pi by 3. So that is first step. So that is cos of pi by 3. Now you could also use your calculator or you could use special triangles. Let me use a special triangle to calculate these values. So uh, this graph, I mean this triangle, which is uh, pi by 3, will be 2, 1, square root 3, right? So we can use this triangle. So we know this value, f pi by 3, is really equals to cos of pi by 3 which is which is equals to half so that gives you one point and the coordinates of this point is pi by 3 half now to find the equation of tangent line we need to find the slope so f of x is so let, let's find the slope now so we know f of x is equals to cos x f prime x so the derivative of this is minus sin x so at the given point which is pi by 3 derivative will be we'll just substitute pi by 3 here minus sine pi by 3 okay so this value is sine pi by 3 is a positive over hypotenuse so that gives you the value as minus square root 3 over 2 so that is the slope at a given point right so it is pi by 3 once you know the point and the slope you can always use the equation y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 right to find equation of tangent lines so so the idea is to get equation of tangent line right now in our case what we have here is the x1 y1 are these points pi by 3 and half and we calculated the slope as minus square root 3 over 2. So any point on this line in general will be x, y. Is it okay? So that is any general point. So using this information, let us now find the equation of the line. So we have y. So let me move on to this place. Okay. So we have equation of the line as y minus y1 which is half equals to m which is minus square root 3 over 2 times x minus x1 which is pi by 3 is it okay pi by 3 and we can rearrange this to find the value of y so y equals to half minus square root 3 over 2 x minus pi by 3 right so that gives you the value of y on the tangent line right so remember one thing that this tangent line is very close to the function let me let me sketch a graph to just show you what we have done here right so the graph of cosine function is kind of like this okay where where this value is 0 maximum right 1 and this value is pi by 2 so pi by 3 will be somewhere somewhere here so if you draw a tangent line at this point 
kind of like this. In that case, you'll find that any point close to this point can approximate the value on the curve, right? Because tangent is very, very close to the curve, correct? So that's the whole idea. So you can use this equation, a line on a, a point on the tangent line will approximate the value on the curve at that value of x. That's the whole idea. So in general, when we write this formula as approximation, we replace this y with approximate value because it's close. In this case, it may be slightly higher, but it's close. So we can write the formula now as the linear approximation, that is the value at given x value, will be half minus square root 3 over 2 x minus pi by 3, right? So that is how you get your formula. So with this formula, you can approximate any point which is very close to pi by 3, right? So so that is, that is the whole thing, right? I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.